What's on Etsy? How about some more sticker packs from artist SMZ Artworks? You remember these? We had a look at these ones before. Well, not specifically these ones, but we had a look at some cool stickers from artist SMZ Artworks or SMZ Artworks. I'll put the links down below if you guys are interested in checking out not only the stickers that we're looking at here, but also his Etsy store. On average, these will cost you about $8.50 if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself. I figured I'd do a whole bunch of different ones to show you the variety of stickers that he produces. Um, he also produces a whole bunch of other cool stuff as well. Definitely would say if you get a chance, check out his store. I'll put the link down below. So the ones that we're going to be looking at this go around are Classic Monsters sticker pack. We are also going to look at the Serial sticker pack. I'm sure it has something to do with Serial Killers. We're also going to have a look at the Imperial Sticker Pack. And the Dystopian Sticker Pack. And the Rock Stars Sticker Pack. So why don't we start with the Rock Stars. And we're going to go ahead and open this one up. Obviously the one that draws my attention right off the bat is the one that's facing on up the top. And that is Alice Cooper. But let's see who else makes up the Sticker Packs from SMZ Artworks. I feel like it's odd for me to say SMZ Artworks, so I'm just going to continue to say SMZ Artworks. Uh, here we have Alice Cooper featured on the front. And like I said, these are all stickers, so you can peel them off, stick them any which way, anywhere that you really want to put them. I happen to have a sticker album, so these will probably go right inside of that. You can probably also see why I liked this artist so much, because he produces some really high quality stickers. So there is Alice Cooper, of course. And we've got ourselves Ozzy Osbourne. This one I'm not quite certain of who this specifically is. Nor, to be all honest, is this one right here. So if you guys happen to know, let me know down below. This one I feel like could be... It's going to come to me later, I'm sure. I can't think of the name. I had a friend whose son really liked like the the hardcore metal it's off the it's on the tip of my tongue as well as this one right here this one i know right off the bat who that one is that's gene simmons from the, of course the band kiss if anyone knows how to market themselves it would be gene simmons i mean there's kiss stuff everywhere probably even has his own kiss stickers i doubt it would look as good as these ones and then we've also got these two right here and again i feel so bad for drawing an absolute blank so perhaps if you guys can let me know down below who these artists are along with the ones that we looked at before this one here and this one right here the other three i know which i guess is some bad i mean that's three out of seven that i remember off the top of my head these ones i don't actually rem I, I don't actually remember so not knowing the name of it, I did one better. I went directly to his Etsy store, and I'm just scrolling down right here to tell you all the characters that make up this Rock Stars sticker pack. Seven die-cast vinyl, die-cut vinyl stickers um, based on rock and metal icons. Abbott from Immortal, Alice Cooper, Gene Simmons, a.k.a. the Demon from Kiss, Jerry Only from The Misfits, ah, The Misfits, uh, King Diamond from The Merciful Fates, Nurgle from Behemoth, and the one and only Ozzy Osbourne from Black Sabbath. There you go. Next, we'll go ahead and look at the Dystopian sticker pack. Something I also want to say in this video as well is that the stickers were waterproof. So if you wanted to, you can use them on things that would be outside. Like, say, for example, you want to stick these on your car. Some of these I've actually considered putting on my car, like the, uh, the ones that we looked at before. The horror icons that had like the Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees and all that stuff. But here we have the dystopian future. So of course we've got um, drawing a, a drawing a blank again. But that's Blade Runner from the new Blade Runner 2049. I of course recognize that's the endoskeleton from Terminator 2. Judge Dredd. Now that looks like Sylvester Stallone's Judge Dredd instead of Carl Urban's. I wonder if he's actually done one for it. Scarlett Johansson in... Um, that would be... I am making the noises in the background in case you were wondering. Uh, and then there's Robocop. <laughs> and then there's Robocop. This one... 
going to go back to. I'm going to go back to that one. Boy, oh boy, boy. Next, we're going to have a look at the Imperial sticker pack. I'm actually even... I'm embarrassed that I don't remember this one right here. Because it was one of my favorite animes growing up. Uh, I'm drawing a blank. I, it doesn't help that it was Scarlett Johansson. Because much like everybody else, I didn't think Scarlett Johansson should have been in this film. But it's going to come back to me, I'm sure. Or you guys will let me know down below. So, in for the Imperial sticker pack, we've got ourselves the... Uh, that, I believe, is the TIE Fighter pilot. Now, these are all, like, decayed versions of them, which is really neat. TIE Fighter pilot. And we've got a Kylo Ren in a slightly more decayed state. This one's neat. This is Boba Fett. Then we've kind of got, like, a zombified Stormtrooper. And look at that neat-looking... Uh, Darth Vader. They're not even really like decaying. They're almost part monster slash bugs. Like this one kind of looks like it's a little bit like a xenomorph. You can see like some kind of inspirations taken from a, a xenomorph. I guess could be the same really for all of these. They're kind of more mutated than they are decayed. Really again neat looking stickers. Put that one right down there. And we've also got the Serial Sticker Pack. Going to have a look at five actual five packs in this video. And, of course, we've got Hannibal Lecter. That John Doe from Seven. Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. Speaking of Psycho, Norman Bates. Mickey and Mallory, I believe, from Natural War and Killers. Sweeney Todd. You know, I still have not seen Sweeney Todd. And one of my personal favorites, Dexter. Love that series. Kind of ended badly, but still loved one of my favorite series watching. Breaking Bad and Dexter sort of are tied for me. I'm still trying, I'm still trying to remember this one right here. And lastly, I wanted to I wanted to end with this one because I think this one will be my favorite of the lot. Yeah, so this is the classic monsters. Of course, we've got Frankenstein's monster, who I just like to call Frankenstein myself. We've got Bride of Frankenstein, Phantom of the Opera. And again, if you guys are interested in picking up any of these, uh, the price point for these on average is about eight to eight fifty, and they're all handmade items. Werewolf. This is also the Mummy. Bella Lugosi's Dracula, and the creature from the Black Lagoon. As we wrap up this review, I also want to say, Ghost in the Shell. Just in case anybody was thinking, this guy doesn't know Ghost in the Shell. One of my favorite animes, but unfortunately, just not crazy that Scarlett Johansson was in the main role. But still, uh, a neat looking sticker. And by the way, again, all of these are handmade items. The materials that he uses are vinyl and lamination. And again, these are all waterproof too. So if these are specifically, like say for example, you like the Darth Vader, but don't want to just put it on your book, you can put these on outside areas as well, like on your car. And I think that would be pretty neat looking to put on your car. Also, if you guys are interested in picking up any of these sets, but specifically, let's say you want to just get Robocop. Well, the seller also sells these singular as well. So the packs generally are about eight to 850. And then say if you want the individual stickers, these are run on average about two to 250. If you guys are interested in picking specifically, say just one of these. Um, he does do a lot of the packs, like we've looked at here, as individual standalone pieces. He did, he did a lot of that for the horror icons. So, like specifically, if you want just the Evil Dead sticker, or if you want like the Jason Voorhees sticker, it was about two to two fifty. About two two fifty for the individuals, and about eight fifty for the packs. I'll provide the link down below to SMZ Artworks. So again, if you guys are interested in picking these up for yourself, he sells stickers, he sells mouse pads, bookmarks, and even sells prints as well. I think the only thing he doesn't sell, and I have to go back and double check his store, is I don't think he sells t-shirts. I would really love a lot of these prints, especially like even like the Vader, which is one of my favorites, I think, from the ones we've looked at here. I would love to see this also on a t-shirt as well, just 
something that maybe the artist could consider. It was on Etsy. We were having a look at some more sticker packs. We'll just wrap this review up just with a look at Dexter. We'll just look at him for the rest of this review. Uh, today we were, though, looking at some more sticker packs from artist, very talented artist, SMZ Artworks. I'll put the links down below to his Etsy store, so if you guys are interested in picking these ones up for yourself, head on over there and grab these today. Also, if you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below. Dexter's still looking at us. Hit that little subscribe button. It should be, like, right there. And that will guarantee you that when new videos are coming onto this channel, you'll never miss out. And hey, while you're at it, why not swing over to the homepage and check out the video section, see if there's something that you may have missed along the way. Older videos will be there, as well as new videos will be found there as well. That's how it works. That's YouTube for you. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. Still looking at Dexter. We'll see you guys next time.